Hello everyone, this is Razor Flame Kun, and in this episode of the Diablo 2 Lord of Destruction Let's Play, they, as you can see, the sun is out, so we need to go and talk to, De um, we need to go and talk to Drognin about this. However, there's something I want to explain first. And hold on, I need to cough. <laughs> and, I, and there's all, I also need to, um, show off some new stuff. As you can see, I have some new items, but what I um, there are some things I want to explain about gambling. First of all, I'm going to show you the new items that I have. Um, this is a new helm that I got from gambling, and it had much higher defense, so I got I took it. And this is a rare heavy belt that I got again from gambling so th those are new items as for gambling I was um, researching gambling on the in between this episode uh, last episode and this episode and well I've written down a list Welcome of items that you can ring. find at certain points in time and these are the items that I'm going to be getting um, how would how how the gambling system works in terms of what items show up? Hold on again. <laughs> um, every every item in the game has a certain quality level. For example, um, I can't really give you a quality level on any of the items that I I have in my inventory right now, but I can tell you that um, an upcoming item. Is uh, has a quality level of 24, and what this means is, you can um, you can find that item through gambling, up from levels 20 through 29. The lower the level, the lower your level is, though the mu the rarer it is it, it'll be to find in in the list of items. Another thing I need to explain is um, the cost of the items goes up um, in, uh, exponentially every single level that you gain in the game, except for rings and amulets. Those will always be rings will always be fifty thousand and amulets will always be sixty three thousand. The main purpose of the gambling function I've found out is actually as a gold sink for characters who are playing the higher difficulty levels, which I'll be explaining when we get when we finish the game. But it's, um, but these are the items that you can find. Uh, I'll tell you their quality level and the level you can start finding them at. And these are the items that I'm going to try and find as soon as possible. Starting at level 20, you can find plate mail which is the item that I gave in the example and it is much better than splint mail that I can remember you can start finding them at the level that I'm at which is 20 however they're very rare um, and you I wouldn't try and find them <laughs> their quality level is 24 Starting at level 23, there are four different items that I need, I want to get that we can start to f uh, finding. Plated belts, gauntlets, greaves, and, war and a war sword. Gauntlets are upgraded versions of these. Greaves are upgraded version of this. Plated belts is upgraded version of this. And the war sword is uh, upgraded one hand sword. And I'm going to hopefully try and get a rare war sword for that. Uh, it hopefully I remembered correctly that war swords are one-handed though. The quality level for those are all 27. Starting at level starting at level 24, you can start to find a field plate which is better than the plate mail, and it's it's normal. Um, it's 28 quality levels. 28. Starting uh, two levels later, you can start finding a gothic shield which is a better shield. And that is a uh, quality level of 30. Quality level of 32 is the Gothic plate, which is better than field plate. And that is, you can start finding those at level 28 in gambling. Starting at level 33, you can start to find full plate mail. And the, th the quality level of full plate mail is 37. And starting at level 36, you can start to find the highest level, the best armor in the game at 
in normal difficulty. And what I mean by the best um, armor is it's not really the best. It's the highest possible armor you can get in normal. That isn't a higher, a higher normal version of this, which I'm going to explain right now. Also through gambling, once you get to a high enough level, your character gets to a high enough level, you, when you gamble f no normal items like the small shield for instance, there is a s slight chance that you could that you can start finding what are called exceptional and elite versions of this. They'll they'll be named differently, but they'll have much higher stats. Exceptional has much better stats than normal equipment and elite has much better uh, stats than ex exceptional um, exceptional armors and weapons you don't normally find until you get into the second difficulty of the game and you don't start you don't find elite versions of armor until you get into the hell difficulty anyways enough about that um, you you came to see me actually play the game now so now that I've gotten all of that through I'm just gonna see if I can find maybe a plate mail um, although I really doubt it because I did this a bunch off camera um, right before I stopped and I couldn't find it then so I highly doubt that I'm gonna find it now I'm gonna give it two uh, three more tries and if I can't find it then oh well Another thing though, um, those might be outdated stats. They might have changed the the level, the quality levels cuz I'm not sure if that if what I got was um, useful information. Anyways, we need to go and talk to Drogdon because the sun's out. So, let's talk to him. Lengthy eclipse and I believe it to be the work of claw vipers. Find their temple beneath the desert sands, and you may find the source of this curse. So, that actually... Um, the, this quest you want to do at the same time as this quest. Because, um, you have to go to the Maggot Lair and to get the shaft, and then you need to go to the Claw Viper Temple. And this, you also have to go to the Claw Viper Temple, so it's ah. best to do both of them at the same time. As for other stuff, I need to go and buy three of those, and then I need to see, do I need, no, I don't need to repair, so what we're going to do is we're going to go straight into the last place we were at, which is the Far Oasis, and we're going to go straight into the Maggot Lair. As per the name, the Maggot Lair is going to, is going to be chock full of, you guessed it, maggots, or big versions of them. You'll see what I mean when we actually um, get into the actual dungeon. But for now we need to start walking and going through this dungeon. You're gonna start finding these uh, these um, monsters called Black Locusts which are um, of course stronger versions of the other guy, other kinds of mo same kind of monsters that we saw early on. We also have death beetles in here which drop which drop those lightning bolts on us as well as well as these rock worms which can poison you. They those are the maggots that they were talking about. So you want to you want to be pretty careful uh, and when fighting those rock worms cuz they can be pretty devastating. Anyways, what we need to do is we need to go through this dungeon. I'm at 127,000 experience to gain a level now. Let's we'll see. There's another rock worm that I need to kill. And this is going to be a pretty... This is a maze. As This this is pretty much a maze. So you got to be pretty um, careful with um, where you're going. Because you could get lost. I'm going to try and explore the entire dungeon, but I'm not sh I'm not might not be able to explore the entire dungeon. Cuz I um this is this is where my memory of the game starts to fade away because I haven't played this game in s 5 4 5 6 years, something like that. So yeah, we got more of these stupid death beetles, but thankfully they're fairly easy to kill now. For some reason, I think they're fairly easy to kill now. 
And hold on. <laughs> there we go. Another cough there. My apologies. And we start finding new another new version of this called Scarabs, which are really, 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 really strong because looks like there's champions. Crap, they killed my... I can't believe that they killed my... They killed my, um... Guy. God, I really dislike them now because they killed my uh, hireling. That's what I was trying to say. Oh, what the hell? Why the hell did they have to do that? Uh, there's a rockworm over here that just poisoned us, and they rockworms can lay eggs, so just be aware of that. And we got more black locusts. Unfortunately, I'm not a, I'm not gonna go back to just for the purpose of re, um, re resurrecting my hireling. I'm going to go when I go back the um, next time, like when I go back after this run I'm going to go and resurrect him for sure because hirelings really do help out I think got another rockworm that we have to take care of as well as rockworm youngs which hatch out of the eggs kind of well you kind of it's kind of yes it's kind of you know natural that that would happen you know and crap that's a oh wow that was a shock wave um, I don't know what, uh, the equivalent sorcerer spell is from that, uh, of that, but it's, I'm pretty sure it's pretty high up there in terms of level. But I think it's static field, I think. No, it's not static field, it's, um, sh Nova. I think it's just called Nova. Just regular Nova, not anything else, just Nova. But, we got more enemies to kill. This is pretty much the what the entire dungeon is going to be like. Except I really hate these dung beetles. And we got a more uh, magic morning star as well. And a whole bunch of these guys. Well, you want to you want to avoid them um, sucking all of your um, stamina out because you need a lot. Of, uh, it's pretty obvious that you need a lot of stamina to go through this entire dungeon. So you want to. Remember that, and try and keep an eye on your stamina, and make sure that it stays pretty high throughout this dungeon. And here we just got another rock worm, so just take care of it, and let's see what other kinds of goodies we can find. Uh, just low quality crap there, so I'm not gonna pick that up. Let's see how am I doing in terms of okay, I'm I'm, not, I'm doing fine in terms of inventory space so I'm not gonna worry about that but as you can see this is a pretty decent sized dungeon and I I really do think um, if you're playing the game you should explore all all possible corners because it'll help with the overall crap it'll help with the overall experience that you need that you get and I just think it would be an overall, overall big help to get, uh, go through the dungeon and kill everything so that you can get the most possible experience. And we got a rare, another, another rare item there. Uh, God, I don't think, I can't care anymore. So that, this brand stock is rare though. And it is above my ability to... It's above my dexterity level, which is pretty odd because uh, I haven't seen very many items that requ have a required dexterity of higher than what I have right now. But oh well, I'm gonna. S I don't like large charms because they're they take up too much inventory space. Other than that, though, <clears throat> everything else is doing uh, is going good except for the fact that my stupid hireling died and it's going to probably cost like 7,000 to re resurrect him. Oh, good. Only 2,000. Uh, I definitely want to resurrect him because he has our one unique item that we've gotten in this in this game so far. And I'm also going to go back to Farah and s make sure... Okay, 
all this stuff is repaired, so I just wanted to make sure of that. And we're going to go and deposit the stuff. And to tell you the truth, I actually should carry this around throughout the remainder of this act because of the fact that, for the most part, yeah, I'm going to need to use it for most of the rest of this act, so it's a good idea to um, actually keep that in your inventory from now on. And from now on until you get to the next act. After Afterwards, you can keep it in your, in your stash to increase the amount of items that you can get in your stash by a, a, small, a slight amount. But in here, it looks like we got a bunch of monsters to kill, so we're going to go ahead and do that. And we got some chests to open. Ooh, wow. Chipped ruby, a poleaxe, and a scythe. So, and both both the scythe and the poleaxe were rare, too. So, that was a pretty decent drop. But, um, they take up a lot of space. So, that's the only thing I do not like about them. Is the amount of space they take up. But it seems like I've gone through the entire floor. So, the next, next stop is floor 2. And I'm monitoring my computer's... I'm monitoring my computer's um, temperature to make sure that I don't accidentally um, lose this recording. Hold on one sec, though. There. Uh, sorry about that. Phone. Anyways, need, we want to go back up here where we found the entrance to floor 2 level 2 and we're going to go down to level 2 in here there was a low quality um, throwing axe and as I've said before throwing axe um, all of the items that you throw are actually very good to keep and sell for good amounts of money anyways here is where you're going to start seeing sand maggots, which are, of course, higher ver higher level versions of the rock worms. So just keep that in mind. That they're going to be harder. And we got a minion right here, which is actually I I I have to say it's fairly rare to see a minion of this of these guys, but it happens. Oh, and holy crap, we got another rune. Um, I, uh, another thing I found out was runes aren't really all that rare. Th sure, they are rare, but not as rare as I thought they were. Anyways, this, that one I'm definitely keeping because that's actually part of a rune word, which I should probably get into soon, um, is concerned. However, I think I'm just going to keep it, and wow, why am I coughing so much? In here we got a bunch of um, death beetles and I think I just killed, I don't know what I just killed, but something Impossible. cast a whole bunch of, okay I have to take that out first, something cast a bunch of, holy crap, okay wow, so there's a lot of crap here that I want to get and that I wasn't expecting to find that many good things there. Blessings to you. And that's one thing that you always want to keep in mind is that there's a good chance that um, there's going to be a lot of things that you're going to want to um, take back to town that you might not be able to in one load. So ju just remember that it's always alright to go back to town and sell your stuff in the middle of a run through a dungeon. It's actually highly, highly, highly recommended. Where did Fire go? Um, as you can see, runes actually sell for a decent amount, but I highly recommend you do not sell any runes whatsoever. Because, as I said there, as I said earlier, they are sort of rare, but some of them are very, 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 very rare. They are incredibly rare. Some of, um, others are not that rare. Um, Tal, Eld, Nef. L is the most... L's the one you're going to find the most, though. That one I know for sure. Is That's the one that I know for sure you're going to find the most of. And I'm actually going to 
go get I'm gonna go against my own advice and leave that one in t leave the that back in town because of the fact that that's kind of um, it takes up space and I kind of want to keep it in town so that I don't need to you know carry around with me but that was that was a really really good amount of stuff there. And as you can obviously see, I actually have to go back to town almost immediately because of the fact that we picked up a whole bunch of stuff there. Sometimes that happens, and don't worry if that happens. It just means that you're going to get more money quicker. And as you can see, we got another 3,000 gold there. Also, if you, if you haven't noticed already, the shops... The actual sh um, stuff that are s is sold in shops changes every single time you go back into a dungeon from town. So just keep that in mind as well. But we're going to head out of this area of the dungeon and we're going to continue on into a new part of the dungeon and hopefully find some more good loot like we've seen already. That's going to cause a poison cloud to billow out. So we're going to want to go as far away from that as possible to avoid getting hit with that. Anyways, over here looks like we got more death beetles, which again, I've already said I do not like because of the fact that they drop those lightning bolts right after you kill them, and that's that, and elemental damage really will deal a number on you. I think I saw, um, right here, there, it looks like there is a, oh my god, another rare item. <laughs> Sorry about that cough, guys. But, yeah, looks like I should go up here, because it looks like there are some things up here that I should, I need to kill. I kind of, the way that I go about stuff in this dungeon is, I just go follow, um, the air the guys that I need to kill until I kill everything in the entire dungeon. And there's another guy over here that I need to go kill. And we got another magic item. As you can see, the ability to get plus, um, what is it? Plus 60% chance of better magic items and... Uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. It You can obviously tell that that really does help in terms of the stuff that you find. But let's see, was that a light, uh, was there a healing potion in there? No, there wasn't. So looks like I'm gonna have to use another one because I was starting to run pretty low on health and that's never a good thing when you run low on health in this game. Let's see what's over this way. Uh, so there's the path down to the next floor. But again, before I go down there, 71,000 experience left. We're going to actually kill. We're actually going to go through the remainder of the this floor and see if there's anything else to find. Uh, any, any other monsters to kill here and any other good loot to get, possibly. We will have to see, though. Uh, Looks like there's one other place that I didn't uh, check, and that's that big room right there. But I'm not going to go back. I don't think I'm going to go back. and I'll, I'll get that on the way out, I think. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to get that on the way out. So, actually, you know what? I'm just going to go get that right now. Because I'm, I'm, perfect, I'm a perfectionist when it comes to games, so I'm going to make sure that I go back there and go and see what's in that one part that one part of the dungeon there and again sorry if um, that's if it's not something that you want to see but um, it's really pretty it's not that big of a deal actually to go back and wow I missed gold actually so kind of glad that I went back because gold is pretty good to get anyway this is in here oh yeah definitely did definitely want to come back here There we go. They're all taken care of. 
And I used another potion, so I have to go ahead and get another potion, pick up another potion from these guys. Let's see. Um, we got we got um, some more of those scrolls of identified though, so that was I think that was worth it to go back there. And I'm gonna go ahead and identify that as well. And we're gonna go down to the next floor now that we've explored this entire floor. Finally. I can't remember if this is three or four levels deep though. I think it's only three, which is which I would gladly uh, I would really like. As always, there's going to I'm pretty sure there's gonna be a unique mo a unique monster at the bottom of this dungeon. I'm almost one hundred percent positive that of this. Um because of the fact that it's for it's part of the quest line, so that really makes me um, th think that it's definitely going to be part of, definitely going to be a monster, uh, unique monster down there. Anyways, we got another good haul of gold, and again, that one adds plus twenty five. But mo as as with most of those types of items, they actually really lower your. Um, they actually really lower your defense if you equip those. Anyways, we're gonna continue exploring this floor now. Let's see what is down here. Death beetles, pretty much more of the same. Although we got a whole lot of those lightning, uh, lightning uh, set sending out guys, so that I didn't like. There is a new item here called Hatchet Hands, and that is for assassins only, so we don't we aren't able to wield it, but it might be worth uh, enough to keep and sell. Okay, right here, right there. See that blue glow? That is where the chest is, and that you can actually see the chest in the um, you can actually see the chest down there. It it it, it has that. Um, special <laughs> sorry about that that special icon right there so that's our that's where we need to go but again I want to make sure that I explore this entire floor to make sure that I get the most experience in gold from here and loot as well that was oh wow that one had three rare, uh, not rare, um, not unique, three uh, items there. So that was definitely worth going there, and we're going to have to go back to town again. Wow, I forgot how much you have actually have to go back to town in this dungeon because of the amount of items that you get in this dungeon. But the good news is that we're able to keep most of our items in good uh, condition so uh, again nothing oh actually this is th this has one higher defense so I'm gonna go ahead and take care of that and buy it for what the one higher defense and we're gonna go ahead and deposit as usual we're gonna go ahead and deposit the item that we got and we're gonna go <coughs> again I'm sorry for the coughing I'm gonna take another drink to hopefully quell it Good morning. Before I continue, though, we need to go back and buy a whole bunch of these because I'm almost out. One, two, and we need to buy four of those. And I also need to buy one of those. So, 39. Wow. So, there we go. We're going to head back in there now. I'm not sure, I'm pretty sure this video is going to be fairly long because of the amount of exploring, dungeon exploring I had to do in this video and all the selling that I had to do in this video. Uh, I'm pretty sure this video is going to be fairly long, so I again, I apologize for the length of this video. Uh, again, I didn't mean for this video to go on so long, but... Ah uh, well, when you really like playing a game, you want to make sure to set and and when you are trying to 
keep everything like picture perfect and there's another rune um, picture perfect and have it uh, mesh together really well um, I'm trying to make sure to do only one area per video and in, in this video this happened to be the area that I took on that I took care of this dungeon so again I I, I didn't rem I forgot how lengthy this dungeon was and if I actually did remember I probably would have actually segmented this into two videos and I still might segment this into two videos it all depends on the amount of it just depends on um, how cleanly I can make a cut in the middle of this video which to be perfectly honest I don't think is going to be very easy to do and that's going to cause poison to spill out so get away from there so it doesn't poison us and we got a bunch of urns over here um the reason why i smash the urns is because you can sometimes find really good items inside of urns in fact on certain on playthroughs uh, that i've done in the past i've actually found rare unique and set i've actually found pretty much every um, kind of item you can find, including unique items and set items from um, those urns. So that's why I always actually... That's why I always get those urns. Be uh, still those urns because of that fact. And yes, there is, this is indeed a unique monster. I remember this fight. And holy crap, yeah back up uh, to heal and holy crap you took care of him yourself hireling took care of him my god that was pretty epic of my hireling to do that I was definitely not expecting my hireling to do that but he did and I congratulate him for doing that but again he took, pretty much took that uh, kill for me, even though it doesn't really matter because I still get the experience, but still. And let's see what's in this chest. There's the Staff of Kings, which is the first part of the Herodric Staff. So now that we finally finished this long dungeon... I'm going to go ahead and say goodbye. So until next time, this has been Razor Flame Kun and May. Um, one thing I forgot to mention though is w the this. The staff of kings. You astound me, my friend. You have discovered the shaft portion of a Herodric staff. I trust you know how to use a Herodric cube to unite the shaft with its headpiece. Okay, now this has been Razor Flame Kun, and may all of your days shine brightly.